Well, welcome back. And don't forget to hit subscribe. I don't like asking for that, but you've got to. Right, they're doing some drainage work. So the 10th tee is pushed up to 174 yards. It's playing as a par three. It's uphill into the wind, a little bit off the right. Flag is back left. Let's see if we can hit a little draw with a hybrid. And I do just that, but it's popped up a little bit and it's come up short. Now this is what gets me excited here, a chip like this. I got the shoulder of the bunker to worry about, I got the rough, the green slopes left to right, it's uphill. This is where I love to invent things. There we go. It really is as easy as that. Number 11. Looks quite intimidating from here with those two deep bunkers. But the vast majority of this green is beyond the bunkers. So just take enough club. Put your ego away and actually take the club that you need. Now every course has got a par 4 like this, long and difficult. There's absolutely no point trying to knock the cover off the ball with your driver and get another 3 or even 5 yards. Priority is fairway. Fairway is where you will find your par. This hole demands a little fade just to counter the ball against the slope. Second shot steeply uphill, plays two clubs uphill. I'm on an upslope here. This is difficult because you've got a two way miss. You can block this or your body stops turning and the hands keep going and you hook it. So you've got to be a little bit careful with this kind of shot. I've blocked it a little bit, but it's just fine. It's just turned a little bit to the left on the wind. Down below the level of the green, it's all uphill, there's a step in the green. I'm chipping this with a 7-iron because I want the ball to run out. So you've always got to marry the loft of the club that you're chipping with, with the job at hand. And I've got about a 90% shot out of that, so that's not bad. At least it's on the top level. And on these long difficult holes, all you want is a chance of a par. Well, just under hit a little bit. Now I have a rule on short path force. If it's under 350 yards, I'm putting loft in my hand. The more loft I've got, the more backspin I've got, the straighter the shot's going to be. And I don't really need to be any closer to the green than a three wood.
The only reason I'm here on the flat is because the drive was a bit of a slap. The cold is getting into me here. I got 120 downhill, downwind, and I just know I can't hit the pitching wedge well enough to get there. So sometimes, you know, you've got to swallow the ego, take the 9 iron, simply because you know you're not going to get it there with a bad back. Fifteen is another brute, and again, there's absolutely no point trying to knock the cover off the ball just to be five yards closer. Sixteen, a favourite hole. Everything says, please fade the ball. That's right in my wheelhouse. Now I've got two slopes to contend with here. The ball's below my feet and I'm still on the down slope. I haven't made it into the bottom because of the dampness of the ground. I'm struggling with this shot because I'm I'm struggling to turn through the ball properly and looking at my feet I'm not aiming the right way anyway yep that hasn't gone well but it's still got a birdie chance it's not an easy putt this one I'd be happy to lay this one dead there's no point getting all um, Ricky Fowler and chasing after this one. In fact, if you play with a guy who says never up, never in, just ignore him. Most three putts come from steaming it past, not by leaving it a foot short. Now I've been changing balls every couple of holes. Now I've got a Callaway super soft I'm just trying out second string balls for the winter while the, there's a chance of losing them under the leaves. What I do here depends on the wind and how I'm feeling. 
So I'm actually taking this on. The flag is front right. I'm aiming at the left edge of the green. I'm just going to let the wind take the ball to the flag. And that's short. I don't know what it is about Callaway balls, but I just do not get on with them. At least I'm on an upslope here. I haven't got a lot of room on the green, but the upslope will help me pop this in the air without much forward momentum. Landed it on the front and near as damn it canned it.